The beta cycle of iOS 26 is finally over. We're currently on the 8th beta and we're not getting any new betas as far as iOS 26 goes. Of course, we'll get the RC version later next month and then the final release, but the betas are over. But not the cool new features and changes that we have been able to find on these current betas, especially the beta 8. We have some more features to talk about and a lot more talk about this update and of course the next coming releases and what you should do. Now, first of all, we're talking about more features that we have been able to discover with the latest beta of iOS 26, which is of course a beta 8. And as I said, this will be the last beta. Now next week, there will be a pause, no releases. And then the week after, after the iPhone event is over, we're expecting the RC version to be released where we can also expect some minor fixes and changes, but not a lot of new features and changes. So let's get started with some more features that we have found on this beta. Let's first head on to the wallet app. Now on the wallet app, when you go to the three dots right here, you will have the ability to go to your notifications. Now when you go here, you can see now offers and promotions. Now you will have the ability to actually choose whether you want to have notifications for offers and promotions or not. If you don't want to have them, you can simply go ahead and turn them off. Just keep in mind that these are turned on basically by default. If you don't want them, go ahead and switch them off from here. Now, another change here is for the game mode. You can see the pop-up for game mode right there. Now, what Apple had done previously, they basically added some text underneath the game mode pop-up. Now that actually has been reversed with the latest beta and it has basically turned back in the way it was previously on the previous betas and it's much, much cleaner and it looks much nicer like this. Now, I have seen this reported by a lot of users. I haven't been able to get this on my device, maybe because I don't have the watch still updated to the new watch OS. But when you go to the Apple Watch app on your iPhone and you go to the gallery right here, you will see like a pop up right there at the top, a new section for new watch faces. We can, of course, go ahead and discover all the new watch faces with the watch OS 26. Now, another thing you will notice throughout iOS with this latest beta, now this was here even with the previous betas, but it seems like Apple has adjusted this a bit. So every like pop up, every sub menu that you see like this one right here, you can see it's actually kind of very stretchy. So you can see if I just swipe like this, it stretches the menu. It's actually a really cool effect that makes the animations and the windows and every like table that you see on your iOS 26 device feel really, really smooth, just like all the other animations are with this update. Again, a really, really amazing update. And if you just basically have been using this throughout the summer, the only way maybe for you to just to like know how good this update is, is to go back and use an iOS 18 device. It really feels really, really old. This new update is actually just amazing. Now, another thing I have noticed here are the animations on the app library. Now, I don't know if this is actually new, but you can see when I open a folder that it's actually lower here, it has a different animation. You can see for the icons, when I open a folder that is basically up there or somewhere maybe in the middle, you can see it has a different animation when it pop ups the icons on the main page of the app library. And it again is very, very smooth, just like all the other animations on iOS 26. And this right here is also really cool. The paste from another app pop up. You can see how good that looks with the liquid glass design. Now, I haven't been able to get this pop up on my device yet, but you can see this right here on X from Minimal Nerd. So he's actually doing a great job. I've been following him, doing a great job covering all the cool little changes on iOS 26. And you can see right here, the pop up when you paste from one app to another, it actually looks really nice with the liquid glass design. Of course, when it comes to these new releases, one of the main things will be the battery. So we know iOS 26 has great performance. We have been testing this. The Geekbench results are amazing, way better than iOS 18. And of course, all the animations, everything that Apple has done with this update 
when it comes to performance is really really great but taking a look at the battery right here you can see what we're getting these past like days with ios 26 beta 8 installed so you can see right here 64 percent battery today 4 hours 24 minutes right here 8 hours 22 minutes with 129 percent battery eight hours and a half here with 122 percent battery and you can see basically i'm getting an average right here of eight hours on screen with this battery currently being at 89 percent battery health on the iphone 15 pro max which is actually not that bad at all now of course as i talked about earlier we will have another two weeks now it's less than two weeks but until the september 9th until apple releases the rc version which will again be the final release before apple releases it to the public and apple will have a ton of time in this these weeks basically to improve the battery and it actually should be way better when it comes out to the public even though even in this state i'm not really mad at all i think it's really okay with having this much battery time with this device in this case with this battery health so in my opinion it's actually okay with the battery life of course the performance has been great since like beta 3 and i have nothing to complain in that part otherwise of course there will be a few bugs here and there but nothing big that will actually interrupt you while using your device on a daily basis with the new ios 26. now as you probably know apple has sent out the invites for the new iphone event and we even talked about that earlier in this video so the 9th of september will be the day that apple will reveal the new iphone that day will release also the rc version of ios 26. now the week after the 15th will be the day that apple releases ios 26 to the public which should be a big update keep in mind that according to apple ios 26 has been the most popular beta ever on ios so that's a great great sign so what you should do in this case I know they all like what like three weeks until the release of ios 26 to the public but still a lot of people maybe don't want to wait for another three weeks so should you update or not well i think this is a good time to update to ios 26 if you just don't want to wait another three weeks for the public release now the best way to do it currently is just updating to the public beta even the dev beta is basically the same but you can just go ahead go to your software update under the general settings and just go here choose the public beta or the dev beta whichever one you want and you can go ahead and update your device i don't think there will be like big changes or big differences between ios 26 currently and ios 18 on your device when it comes to performance and battery performance might be even better with ios 26 and the battery most likely will be somehow the same maybe we'll have like a few minutes more with ios 18 but again ios 26 is way way better so that's basically it for this video guys again ios 26 the beta cycle is over don't expect any new betas until the rc on september 9th and then the final release of course on september 15th so that is it thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one